Hi, it's me with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This might not help too many people. I'm just trying to help. Somebody's designing a bolt hole scenario for a stepper motor, and he doesn't have any room for a for the belt to be tensioned, so he wants to tension it with the motor mount and be able to rotate it. So I'm gonna use this left corner, and I'm gonna double click on it, and I'm gonna put my rotation there. And if you look at the middle of the 23 and your belt was over here, it's getting tighter and tighter by moving that. So what we're going to do is break it apart for a second. Find out how big this hole is. It is 0.51 millimeters. So I took a circle and I contoured it 0.51. And if you see that, now if we, I'm going to fill this in with yellow. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. Well, that's too far. Let's uh, change the nudge to something closer. 80. Take our first bolt hole and move it over. Then I'm going to take this item and still rotating it from there. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Whoop. I got to group it back together. Let's move our... Circles out of the way for a second. Control G, group this together, move our circle back. And we'll have to move the rotation in the center. And let's just go about that far. Now for a second, I'm gonna take away our lines and I'm gonna smart fill this bolt hole. And I'm gonna move it over. So we need to get this same arch arc to configure between these two. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to move the center rotation to that node on that one. Let me zoom in here. Ah, didn't stay there. And I'm just going to ever so slightly. Now I'm not for the one I'm doing this for. I'm not leaving any, um, slop so you might want to do it i'm gonna i'm gonna change these both to hairlines because i do so much better in hairlines and also that doesn't matter but i'm going to make them red because i want to be to see now we're going to take the color away and we're going to look at them and see how close we are and i'm going to add a little slop so i'm going to go 5.2 millimeters. By 5.2 millimeters. So that gave me a little slot factor. Now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that part of the line and that part of the line. I'm going to take my smart fill tool, fill that in with yellow. And because we've nudged, we're right back where we were. Now you could do this for the other three bolt holes and let's go to object order back of page. So there is our bolt hole inside and you might, you might want to add a little more slop. You're going to put a washer on it. So I, I would add a little slop, but this way you can tighten that. And if we look, and move this back, that circle follows that trail. So you'll be able to adjust it quite a bit and you could you could go quite a bit further. Uh, I really hope that helped him a little bit and thank you for watching.